Hi guys, welcome back to Chase CH. Today's video, we're going to be over, we're going to be going over the whole Maze Runner series. There's only three movies. Um, I haven't seen any of them. I tried starting one of them, but then couldn't finish it for some reason. But I'm excited to watch the first one, the Maze Runner. I don't know much about it. But um, yeah, before we get into this video, make sure you like, subscribe, um, comment down below which one of these movies is your favorite, and suggest another movie or TV show series to watch down below. But let's get into the video. Now first up we have The Maze Runner. I kind of know the plot of this series, but not much. I just know there's like, it's, I know it's based off a book series and everything. It's a giant maze. It's pretty much all I know. Um, but yeah, I don't have much to say about it. Um, I am excited. I've heard pretty good things about it. I've heard some bad things, but I've heard it's a pretty underrated series. So let's watch The Maze Runner. Okay guys, so I just finished The Maze Runner. I'm sorry, it's a different view. The first streaming service wasn't working, so I had to switch to the second one. But um, The Maze Runner, I really enjoyed this. It was very pleasantly surprising. At the beginning, I was like, what is this? Didn't really set up the backstory, like what's happening. It's kind of boring. It started off a little bit slow. I kept picking up, picking up with the action. They survived the maze. And the girl comes, Teresa, and they keep exploring the maze. And it's very, like, simple, thought-out story until they get out of the maze. And you're like, wait, what happened? And it's obvious, like, if it's based off of the books, most books that are in, like, a series always end with a cliffhanger, just like this movie did, because we get to see what the world looks like. And we're ready for the second one. Um, the CGI was fine. It was a lot of in dirt scenes. So it, you could probably tell how uh, it looked better in the dark. Um, like that. Um, I thought the acting was really good between like um, most of the characters. Some of them were a little bit eh. But overall it was pretty good. Um, the characters themselves are well written. Um, you can see each of their personality traits. They kind of get an antagonist, but they think they're doing the right thing, kind of thing. And then they get stung, as it's called. Um, it's very interesting, and I think it's very unique. It kind of has a similar feel to Hunger Games. I would say Hunger Games, the movie, is better than this one. But this one's probably better than the last, um, like, three Hunger Games, or last two Hunger Games. It was actually really entertaining, and I'm actually excited for the second one. So, yeah, next up, I think we have Maze Runner Scorch Trials or something. So, let's watch it. Okay, guys, so I'm about to watch Maze Runner The Scorch Trials. Now, again, as I previously stated, I'm pretty excited since the last one left on a cliffhanger, and I want to see how they continue the story. What's, like, the next step? What's the deeper meaning besides the maze? What What's happening with everything? The world's covered in sand. It's all on fire. I'm very confused. But usually in the trilogies, the middle one's the weaker one. But there are some exceptions. But um, I want to see how this one turns out. So let's watch Maze Runner The Scorch Trials. Okay, guys, so I just finished watching Maze Runner The Scorch Trials, and it was really good. Um, I will say it took, like, many different turns in it. You think it's kind of going to be, like, a more modern-esque um, aesthetic, like, when you start off the movie, because of how it starts in the place, and they then they discover how bad it is, go into the scorch, as it's called. Um, and it's not as bad as I would think. Well, it, it's horrible, but they said, like, the sun was killing people. But it's just more that the virus was going around. Um, but you get to see them, um, kind of progressing. One of them gets the virus, even though they thought they were all immune. But I guess they're not all immune. So the, that person had to kill themselves. It's just, it's all over the place. And they, we get to see new characters we did to see, um, I liked Eris, he was really good in it, um, I liked so many bits, I was kind of predicting the turn of Teresa, I thought, I didn't know they were doing it in this movie, but I was pretty sure it was going to happen, um, 
it, it was pretty sure. Um, I'm sad by the capturing of, um, I can't think of his name now, but it's one of the people, ah, uh, flicked in my head, I can't think of it. Um, but overall, <clears throat> the story kind of, like, would drastically jump at different points, and I felt like it was maybe, like, 20 minutes too long. They could have cut a good portion out of it. The action I thought was really good. CGI was better than the original because they didn't overuse it as much. Um, they used it like a good amount. And overall, I thought like the acting was pretty good. And a very entertaining thrilling movie. It was less comedic as the first one. Like there were a few more comedic moments in the original versus this one wasn't really any um but and then it perfectly sets up the third one and I thought it was going to be more of a weaker link but I'd probably put this on par with the first one partially I would say it's more entertaining but quality wise am I like the first one better I don't know but next up we have Maze Runner well I don't know what it's called but let's watch it okay guys so I'm about to watch Maze Runner the Death Cure and I'm interested to see how the plot continues, because each movie really ends, like, you can't just end it there. And so I want to see how they conclude it all, what happens towards the end, and how the characters all meet up again. If Teresa will turn good again, if she's going to be a huge villain. I don't know um, who's going to die, all those questions, but I'm pretty interested to see how it's going to turn out. So let's watch Maze Runner, The Death Cure. Okay, yeah, so I just finished Maze Runner, The Death Cure, and this was really, really good. You got the emotion in there, so much action, the CGI is amazing, the acting is amazing. You get, like, sad deaths and you feel everything. Um, I feel some characters are better in past movies and some are better in this one. Teresa in the last movie didn't really do much until, like, the end where she turned. And I, I knew she was going to turn back. I don't think she would die. But then again, um, I thought Brenda was very underplayed in this one. Because in the last movie, Brenda and Thomas, I actually kind of, I kind of shipped that. But in this one, I like Teresa and Thomas. So... I, I I don't know. Um, Newt's death was super sad. You just see, um, I feel like each movie gets like more and more civilized. The first one, just all these guys, giant maze, tried it out. Second one, you just see how the world has fallen due to this virus and everything. This one, it's the city protected by um, Wicked and everything. And you get to see all that. Um, you get to see uh, Min Ho getting rescued and all that. There's so many great, it kind of felt like a heist scene, I mean, not scene, heist movie, kind of, but also action and a, a lot of different things all put together. Um, I thought it was really good. Thomas's character really progressed in it. Um, Newt's death, as I said before, was really tragic. Jorge was good in it, again, all the characters. Um, but I really got an this in action. It kept me entertained. Because it was pretty much all action kept going. We did just see the return of, oh, what's his name? It was like the kind of antagonist villain of the first movie. Uh, he, he comes back, um, which is bittersweet, but like we did to see everything. We did to see more of the people's perspective and how they see Wicked and everything. And we find out that Thomas and everything. It, it's just, go watch this franchise. This, was actually, this is pretty underrated because I never knew these movies talked about. But it was definitely entertaining, especially this one was, like, one of the most entertaining movies. I got, really got to emphasize that. But, yeah, that was the whole Maze Runner franchise. So, let's um, do a wrap-up. Okay, guys, so I just finished the whole Maze Runner franchise. I thought it was really entertaining. Um, very underrated, because I got this recommended once, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll check that out. I kind of heard a little bit about it, but it was... I was very surprised about how entertaining it was. First one, I would say thematically is the best. The third one's my favorite because it has a lot. It's very entertaining in action. And the second one um, is also really good. Overall, it's really good and even franchise. Like, I could understand how your favorite is one, two, or three. I did see that. 
but Maze Runner was, it, it really surpassed my expectations. I would say that the, because a lot of people compare it to Hunger Games, I would say the first Hunger Games movie is better than all the movies in this, but the trilogy as a whole is better than what the Hunger Games did, because especially with 2, 3, and 4 of the Hunger Games, it wasn't really that good. But overall, really entertaining. But before I end this video, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Comment down below another recommendation of movies or TV shows I should watch, and which is your favorite Maze Runner movie. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.